Guys, I don't know what we call this genre of game. I feel like there's been so many of these games lately, we need to come up with a name for it. The only thing I can come up with is Kicks Like, which doesn't exactly roll off the tongue, but Kicks was the first game of its type. So that's the best I've got for now. Let me know if you have any suggestions. Anyway, Makoko X is another Kicks Like game. I always loved Kicks and other games like it. Kakoma Night in Busy Land on the Super Nintendo was especially fun. And of course there was Gal's Panic in the arcade, which started a trend of adult themed versions of these games, where as you progressed, you would uncover pictures of ladies. And that's approximately where Makoko X lands on the spectrum of kicks like games. But there are several mechanics that make this one unique, so I wanna highlight those coming from someone that enjoys the genre. You should also know this game can have some pretty silly concepts. If you prefer a more serious game, definitely stick to the Japanese audio. But if you want to laugh your ass off, uh, go ahead and pick the English voices. For some people, the English dialogue is terrible, but for me, it crossed the fine line from terrible into hilarious. <laughs> Something stuck in my cog wheel. <laughs> <laughs> the basic goal in any game like this is to section off areas of the screen by maneuvering your player out into the open. As you move away from the edge, you'll leave a line trailing behind you. Try to close off this shape before any projectiles or enemies hit you or your line. Otherwise, you'll lose a life. When you close off an area of the screen, it'll reveal more of the background image. Any enemies trapped inside that shape will be destroyed. Any item boxes trapped in the shape will also be collected. And enemies or projectiles won't be able to pass through your closed off areas. Use this to your advantage by trapping enemies before capturing them. For scoring, you'll gain points by destroying enemies and the bigger the shape, the bigger the score and score multiplier. So you'll definitely wanna to try to close off bigger sections at a time if you want a higher score. Once a certain percentage of the screen real estate is captured, you'll clear the level. I love how this game shows the top 100 scores for each level. It kinda of gives you an idea of who's playing the game and how you compare. If you want to try to beat my scores, I'm playing on Xbox and my gamer tag is Ravaged Unicorn. In the beginning, you'll start out with only one girl available. Each girl has four stages to complete before you unlock the next girl. With a total of eight different girls, now each of these girls will need some help involving really unusual scenarios. I don't know if it's a translation issue, but the story is a bit ridiculous. After a while, I just stopped reading the story sections because it didn't really make much sense anyway. Uh, the dialogue, however, is where the real gold is at. Come, Isa. I didn't burn your clothes on purpose. No, I still had four days to live. <laughs> oh my god. One thing I like about this game versus the very similar Bishoujo Battle Cyber Panic is that the girls in this game are animated. The imagery and story are a bit suggestive, but the images themselves only bring this to a teen rating. However, the Steam version has a more adult DLC patch available, if you know what I mean. Even still, I'm a bit surprised to see this on Xbox. I try to familiarize myself with the types of content that the various platforms allow, and Xbox usually doesn't like these games where sexy is the main theme of the game. It's fine for a nude scene in a bigger game like Cyberpunk or Tormented Souls, but when the main focus is this, usually Xbox doesn't want it on their platform. So I like to see when publishers try to push the limits and hopefully we can see that line get pushed out a little bit further. Another aspect I found very unique about this game compared with other kicks like games is that certain levels had added complexity. It was more than just an empty scene with some different enemies. Sometimes I would have to navigate my way through corridors with turrets in order to get to the enemy. So I had to get the timing just right as I passed the turrets or else they could break my line. 
I thought the gameplay was pretty unique in this one, I, something I've never seen in any other kicks like game. Anyway, I had fun with this one. Uh, check it out if you're into kicks like games. It was kind of a novelty to be playing something like this on the Xbox, but it is available on all platforms, Switch, PlayStation, Xbox, and of course, PC. Anyway, that is gonna do it for today. Thanks for watching, guys. Until next time, I will see you later.